On this video of Proof of Make, we will be talking about Loom and its plasma chain. Loom is a company building the plasma chain, one of the first implementations of Vitalik Buterin and Joseph Poon's plasma protocol. It's cutting edge tech, allowing blockchains to talk to each other, utilizing the best of the Ethereum protocol and smart contracts to create a network for scalability and for movement of assets more freely. We will also be looking at the first dApps on the Loom network, Zombie Battlegrounds and Delegate Call. Loom has a very interesting business proposal and even more interesting tech, and we are excited to sit down with this one. We'll be sitting down with Mike to take a look at Loom, Plasma Chain, and its dApp ecosystem. Let's go check out Loom and the Plasma Chain with Mike. All right, Mike, this is Loom. All right. Loom is a company that's working on multiple different projects at once. Okay. And one of their main projects is this inter-token sidechain protocol that allows people to move tokens from the main chain on Ethereum to a sidechain, which they're going to call Plasma Chain. I don't believe you. It's real. We did it. Okay. We did it. So they actually have this really cool token gateway example that lets okay. you see it in action. And okay. we deployed one here. And you can see that we have, it took quite a bit of kind of setup and everything else, yeah. but it's early software, so it's a little bit, bit user-friendly, but yeah. that's okay. And actually set up our own DAP chain. Okay. So you can see here that on the Ethereum network, our own private network of Ethereum, running the Ethereum protocol as it is in the wild. Okay. And we can actually send these 100 tokens to the DAP chain. So I'm going to so do that. These are 100 Ethereum network tokens. Okay. Yeah. So some ERC-20 token. MetaMask pops up, I confirm it, has gas, everything you expect from Ethereum. Okay. If you check the DAP chain, this, so this is the console for the actual DAP chain, which is the side chain. We can see that those 100 tokens now exist. Wait, so, so ideally though, um, with like the plasma chain and stuff right. like that, people will be able to move these t uh, tokens around r really quickly. And this is what brings like scalability. Yeah, so on the DAP chain, things are moving around crazily. Okay, so, yeah. a bunch of accounts, so a bunch of people put their Ethereum yeah. tokens, moved them over here. They can move them around really, really quickly. Um, and then how do you get them back? Like onto the main net. So what you would do is if you're on the DAP chain now, so your user, you're, you've done all your purchases, you want to get off and you want to take your tokens back to the Ethereum chain, you click allow withdrawal. Okay. It's processing the allowance. And what it does is it sends it to the Ethereum gateway contract. And this is being run by a gatekeeper who then makes sure all the withdrawals that need to be there are there, makes sure all, everything is okay, and then they withdraw from Gateway. There's another Ethereum transaction. So this is being run by Oracle. So this is just making sure that those tokens get unlocked on the Ethereum chain. And you can see here that on a private Ethereum wow. network, we now have 100 tokens. So, oh, so, so they're going to basically put this on the main, so this is an early look at what they're going to be doing with the main net with the plasma. Yeah, yeah every, everything. They, I guess they don't want to use up real money or something. Um, <laughs> so they're, they're just moving stuff around in test nets at the moment. But uh, there's actually some interesting developments going on at the moment. That hopefully, you know, in the next few months, we'll see some really cool that's, live stuff. That's really awesome. It's good, for, it's good for Ethereum. It's good for Plasma. Um, and I think Loom's doing some really exciting stuff there. But just as exciting, they are also an application development studio. Okay. So they're building a game called Zombie Battlegrounds and something called Delegate Call. What is Delegate Call? Uh, Delegate Call is basically Stack Overflow. It's also it's a question and answers, and you get upvoted. So on this platform, if you get upvotes, or um, you get karma, and karma then translates into tokens. Ethereum that, tokens. Ethereum tokens, okay. and this would be running on a what they're calling their plasma chains giving out plasma cash or whatever token is, you know, interesting. So it could just easily freely so move around freely like we just saw right, on right. another demo. So you're upvoting, just downvoting, you're, you're going Without in there. Without paying gas and exactly. all that stuff. So, so it's not like every time you upvote it costs you money. Okay. Right. But but it does earn money. And so, it's highly scalable too. Yeah. I mean, okay. infinitely scalable really. Okay. Well. So, yeah. Um, and one of the interesting things here that I really like about the Loom team in general is this is actually how they're handling their QA. So when people they're have complaints and questions, they, yep, exactly. They're using their own application which is really exciting, really cool. And the other side of things are games. So part of the Loom business plan is that they believe that people will onboard the, this technology quicker through games and through social networks. So they're building games as well? They're building a game. And so, okay, so now I see the connection. So uh, the plasma chain is where you have the high throughput, you know, really fast transactions, free transactions. Right. You settle them on the main net. So this is how we're going to get um, Ethereum in games. Exactly. Okay. 
Yeah. So so every game will have its own chain that it's running on. It runs really really fast. Um, if you look at videos of this, the whole thing is really exciting, like fast paced. Well, everyone is the game. Okay. But yeah. Everyone is to be like a little token movement or something. And it, 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 you know, it, and so this is not available yet. Though it's not none. Okay, but, but they use Kickstarter. Yeah, yeah. Okay. yeah. They kickstarted it. And they raised, I think, about three hundred thousand dollars, a little over that. Um, it's interesting that they didn't do an ICO actually. Oh no, so, ICO. Oh no, ICO. That's refreshing. Um, yeah, yeah. So they they actually just raised on people's enthusiasm for the game itself, which I think is core to what Loom is doing. Um, they also have an education platform. They really into zombies. A lot of zombie I can stuff. See that. Yeah, the zombies. I mean, in fact, the old version of this was the zombie chain, but now zombie chain is now plasma chain. Okay. They've they changed the name of zombie chain. But they're cute zombies. Yeah, it's they're adorable, absolutely adorable. And yeah, so basically, that's Loom. There's a lot to Loom. One of these days, we may even take a look at the Solidity X, which is their object-oriented version of Solidity, but doesn't exist yet. Oh, it's so they're be, working on a, they're working, a, a new yeah. version of Solidity so that's object. Wow. Games, social networks, their own programming language or programming variant of Solidity, as well as fixing interoperability and scaling. So they're doing a lot. Wow, that's yeah. really cool. Well, hey, thanks for sharing. Mm. Yeah, yeah. That's great.